Yes, guys. We got a cam for the 5.3. <gasps> oh my God. Wow. Why are you hating? Why are you all hating? You're hating on me over here. Yeah, I love you too. I love you. You jerk. Calling me old. <laughs> she's, everybody, she's saying the Beamer <laughs> smells like an old person. What does an old person smell like? It smells like aftershave. <laughs> Well, like my grandpa's aftershave? Yes. You're... If you guys saw what Trey was wearing right now, you think he's old. Hey, I'm gonna be... He's gonna be getting a Corvette soon, you mm. guys. That's my, my lovely wife. But yes, we got a cam. This is the cam. Check it out. Admire it. This is a ASA cam. This is a low lift cam for the for the Beamer for my 5.3. With this low lift cam, you can run stock springs. I got new springs for it. The lift is pretty small on it and it allow me to run stock push rods, stock springs, but I got LS6 springs on the 5.3. This is another piece of the puzzle. I'm super excited. I got the uh, rest of the, the bottom end being sealed off tomorrow. So this is gonna be a two-part video. And yeah, this is what's going on. We're we're making moves. Uh, let me give you a little bit of a, of a budget breakdown. Transmission, $200. Engine was donated by my father. Um, so this is 5.3, he got this for $600 complete. Um, let's see, the oil pan with the pickup and the new gasket was two, $200. The cam was $200. So, $600. 200 that's 800 plus another 200 for the cam that's a thousand plus another 200 for the transmission that's 1200 dollars so far i also got motor mounts for my wife from my wife um and that was 400 dollars. i also got new valve springs those were completely free shout out to the homie eric and then i bought new head bolts those were 30 dollars and then new head gaskets, which was another $30 for the five layer MLS head gaskets. The engine is just about done and ready to be reassembled. Now the goal for everything, um, pretty much um, the budget was, I wanted to stay within $3,000 to get everything done. So far, I also got a turbo over there that was completely free. Um, I've had a lot of help, um, but if I were to spend all the money myself, I would have made the motor mounts myself. Making whenever you could fab stuff, it's going to keep your budget a lot lower because of the work involved and the materials are a lot less when you're creating it yourself. I think it's very, very possible if you were to go to a junkyard and do an automatic and a 5.3 out of some truck, you could get this whole thing done for like 2,500 bucks if you do the wiring yourself. But that's the update for right now. Um, I'm actually going to put this cam in because I'm really excited about the cam and it's just one less step. I could actually button up the front end of the motor. Once I get these new O-rings for the pickup tube, then I will install the pickup tube and oil pan and yes, we're gonna be good. All this is temporary. Just to get stuff off the ground, so. This is for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a new one. I'm all I soaked. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording right now. Say what's up. Oh, I didn't like it. I'm all happy. So, yeah, this is low lift cam. You got a bunch of oil? Yeah. Let me see the other one. That's the old, the oldie. Now, the difference is what you could see on the lopes. Yeah, is the lopes. You'll see the <laughs> that too. So the so your center line is like right here. Right. This is your lope separation. Mm -hmm. So uh, on a bigger on the bigger cams, they'll have this actually. Well, spe specifically that one, they'll be the same size as this, mm -hmm. 
but it'll have the duration a lot bigger. So this angle here will be a lot more mellow. So it'll be a little bit longer and rounder. Yeah, to hold your level. Yep, yeah. and then uh, like a lower LSA cam, these will be closer together. Yes. Make sense? Yep. Grab it, man, let's put it in. I don't know if you could see in the video. We'll see when I edit this. But the difference is, is um, this slope comes to more of a point, and this one's rounded out a little bit more. Um, the lobe size on these is, are pretty close to factory, and this is where you could get away with stock springs, um, but your angle is much less. So um, it hold. This is where your duration comes from. Hopefully you guys get all that. If you don't, whatever. What do you think? I'm good. I want to see if this thing's gonna run like. I had a bit of penetration oil on these guys. Or you could soak them in oil, whatever you want. Alright guys, yesterday I just, I, I got the cam in, um, I got the timing chain on and the oil pump back on and the only thing I had, did not do is torque down my heads because I had to go get a torque wrench. I also got my oil pickup tube for the F body transmission, F body transmission, for the F body oil pan. And then I also got a new oil pan gasket so the bottom end should be buttoned up today. are all torqued now it's time for me to put on my rockers and uh, the pedestals once I put on the rockers and pedestals I could go ahead and flip this engine over and then install the oil pan and pickup tube to the first problem after assembling this motor um, pretty much what is going on is the pickup tube is honestly the pickup tube is correct for the oil pan but it's not correct for the windage tray okay dumb fact of the day um, uh, through my research I kind of skipped over one part and that is the win windage tray is different on a 5.3 truck engine versus a F body Camaro which that's the goal for the bottom end so what I'm going to have to do is on this windage tray, I'm going to have to take the, the uh, cutoff wheel and cut it across right there so that my pickup tube and the oil pan will fit because right now I'm having fitment issues. Yes, it already works. Um, now I'm going to just throw the gasket on there, put the oil pan, and it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. This motor's about to be done, baby. Ain't that right, girl? Ain't that right, girl? Yeah. <laughs>